Hi, I'm Mervin. You're watching Studio Life, and this is episode two. So today we are talking about how to think outside the box. Maybe you have encountered this before. Maybe someone asked you to think outside the box or break the rules. So what did this mean? I mean, it just means that the person asking you this question doesn't really have a solution to his or her problem. So that is why he or she asks you to think outside the box. So how do you do this? How, how do you do this effectively? How can we come up with innovative solutions to our problems? So here is what we do in our studio. Step one, know the rules. Before you could actually think outside the box, you have to think inside the box. You have to know how big is the box. You have to know the rules. When I mean rules, I mean, I mean it depends on different industries. So for example, in animation, animation rules, I mean, animation principles, design rules, typography rules, I mean, those are rules. Or, I mean, rules in business, rules in running a successful business. Those are rules, those are guidelines that we follow. So, the first step in thinking outside the box is to know what the rules are. You have to know them, you have to master them, you have to understand them. They are in place for a reason, they are there for a reason. Step two is to know when to break these rules. So, I mean, once you have mastered I mean, the rules, for example, the animation principles, and at some point you will encounter a deadlock, meaning these rules would feel like they are caging you in. This would prevent you from actually thinking of a solution. This would be the time that you would have to break the rules. By this time, you already believed in the rules, you have mastered them, you have applied them a lot, and sometimes you are afraid in breaking them because you already know that they work. I mean, don't. Don't be afraid to break them. Sometimes you have to break them to come up with a very good solution. Step three is to constantly check its effectiveness. So once you have broken a rule and it works, it feels good. And there's a danger here because I mean, every time you encounter a problem, the tendency would be that you would break the rule every time. You have to constantly check its effectiveness. Does breaking the rule really fit the problem right now? Or are you just breaking the rule in for the sake of thinking outside the box? So you have to constantly check if it's really effective, if it helps you reach your goal. And if it turns out that it doesn't help you fix the problem, I mean, then go to step four, which is to go back to step one. We go back again to basics. We go back again to knowing the rules. So that's it for me. I hope you've learned something. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe and see you on the next episode.